637 on the clock. Let's get to a morning pick me up now. A couple here in West Michigan is celebrating nearly 80 years of marriage. We visited them at the home. They've been sharing nearly all that time to get the scoop on the secret to everlasting love. I never go to bed angry. Always kiss each other good night and tell them you love them. Robert and Betty Jensen were married in 1945. When we were 17 and 18. Not long after meeting, just steps away from where we met for this interview. Well, he was out here plowing with some horses and I thought he Oh, I thought he looked so nice. He used to have a lot of curly hair. Robert was born inside a home on the same street where he lives now, shortly after his family migrated from Copenhagen, Denmark. He and his wife now live down the street in a home that Robert built 75 years ago. I always figured why we were so happy and God kept us together. It was God come first in our home. Holding hands throughout the interview, the two shared their secrets to success. Love changes than when you're a teenager or a young person getting married. Uh, it grows stronger and you have to always remember to forgive people because sometimes things happen that they don't mean it to be that way. She also says it doesn't hurt to look your best. When I get up in the morning, I get up in the morning before he gets up. I like to and I get showered and I always get my hair fixed and I don't have a robe on. I always dress. I always try to look as good as I can. You can see Robert nodding in agreement. She's a beauty every morning. Not a man of many words. She answered about all of it right there, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the talker. He's very quiet, very yeah. easy to get along with. Mm -hmm. Very seldom ever seen him get ugly or mean. He did share a small bit of advice. Just agree with everything. <laughs> <laughs> a man who shows his love not with words, but action. A carpenter who built homes for all three of his children. They've just been such an example. Dad mows lawn, mom drives, and they keep their own house up pretty much. For an old couple, I think we're doing pretty good. Each one give 100%. It's not 50%. It's a, each one gives 100 to make a good life. At 96 and 97 years old, the two are living on their own. They told me they've never been smokers or drinkers. They also said living this long, they've seen a lot, a lot of good and bad. They've lost a son and a grandson, but they say their love has only grown stronger through it all. Both of their living children have been married for more than 50 years. So clearly wow. setting an example of love in this yeah. household. The love is apparent right mm -hmm. there on the couch. Yeah. What a story. Such a sweet story. Thanks for that, Emily. Yeah. It made my morning. That was such a good <laughs> pick me up.